Hey guys, had a gentleman asked me if I'd do a, a review, overview of what I thought about the 421. As many of you know, I, I became a huge fan of the 6100 after I got it and really used it. Still really like that. Wanted to get a intermediate saw or a middle saw kind of to run for smaller stuff but mainly for felling like eight inch trees um, cutting things eight inches and below a uh, little limbing just a, a good all-around little firewood saw so uh, I settled on getting a little 421 I'll kind of go over some of it and stuff as you can see I've added a, a tack to this one as well I get these, uh, I think off of Amazon or eBay for like 20 bucks. Wires in real easy, makes it easier for me to tune the saws and things like that. Uh, the caps, you'll notice right away, are different. I actually just put those on today. They're Husqvarna flippy caps. You can pick them up. And it seems to seal very well screws on well so um, it, it comes with the S caps which are just fine and great I just thought I would check see if these work and they do um, so a couple other things that are different from stock is I have dual felling spikes on this bucking spikes dealer got those for me out in Ohio I can't think of the name right now but I think that's about all that I have that's not 100% stock I have an 18 inch bar on here not to use the whole bar um, actually let me set this down if you look real close you can see that I use a lot of the tip of this bar um, I like the reach for cutting limbs that are on the ground and stuff like that uh, it does have the easy start so it pulls really easy you can pull it really slow and it fires off it starts wonderfully great we'll just dive right into the air filter here now I've seen a, a video review or of uh, this where a guy said you know he's always worried about this backing out which I haven't encountered that problem so I'm not sure uh, if it's a one situation or if I'm a lucky one whatever don't know but it, it does uh, separate the filter the fines out really well uh, not as good as the 6100 it does collect down around the carb inlet but I've not noticed anything getting through down in there either or in through the air filter I have added a little bit of grease down on that just because I wanted to make sure nothing was getting through and I clean it off pretty good every time just to make sure I don't know but if you look down in the actual cavity and stuff, it's cleaned down in there fairly well. This hasn't been cleaned for, oh, <laughs> more than one tank. We'll just leave it at that. It, I uh, use this all more than I clean it. But... I know waste a lot of time the single switch down to kill automatically returns to the on position up for choke the one thing that I like better about the 6100 with its switch is you can actually turn it all the way down and it leaves it off not a big deal or anything but this just always returns to on and it doesn't have a, an all the way off um, so a couple of things that are different it's in a different league than the 6100 and you can tell it's you know 
6100 is considered a pro model. This is what they would consider a farm, ranch, intermediate model. Uh, the fit and finish isn't quite there. It um, has like the, the plastic handle. Just a couple things. Uh, one of the bigger ones is the throttle lock and another guy said this as well is that has to be all the way down for the throttle to work and you can't tell it as much on this one now because I've adjusted that but so now this one has to be down to there at least before it had to be pressed all the way in for it to actually function. All I did there was I took it apart, uh, used a small file, and made it less lenient, not quite as tight of a tolerance. The exhaust um, on the 4100s are a catalytic converter one. Uh, if you know the right dealers, you can actually get a European muffler, which is catalytic converter there is not a catalytic converter, it's just an open box. Um, it comes with a drum sprocket versus a, a rim drive, but that's a real easy switch. I have switched this out to a rim drive because I also have a .325 chain that I run on it. So I can go from a .25 or .3 or a 3 8 low pro to a .325 back and forth fairly quick and easy it does have an adjustable oiler on it as well that's another one that I don't necessarily like you have to have a smaller screwdriver um, the screwdriver on the scrunch does not reach down in there and it's just a really kind of a tight fit it is well protected which is nice you don't have to worry about you know getting bumped or moved or anything like that but it is something that, you know, to adjust it, I can't do it with my scrunch, which upsets me because that's a tool I have in my hand when I'm messing with it. But other than that, you know, it's really great for fuel economy. It does oil the bar well. Uh, it starts fantastic. It's, you know, a nice, solid little salt. There's, you know, nothing much more I can say about it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else I could say about it. One thing, uh, you know, the AV, this does have a full spring anti-vibration, and it works wonderfully well. It's very smooth operating. But other than the fit and the finish not being quite as tight of a tolerance as... Uh, the 6100 and just being a little more plasticky on a few things which you can see on the you know the chain cover clutch cover whatever you want to call it it's plastic on the 6100 as well which there's perks and downsides to that other than that all in all I, I like this all I, I use it a lot it's not quite as refined or has as good a fit or finish as the 6100, but for a great little firewood saw, four-wheeler saw, tractor saw, whatever you want to name it, call it, 40cc saw, it's, well, I, I don't know of another 40cc saw I'd rather have than this one. I'll just leave it at that. Thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead, leave a comment, um, tell me what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. But I appreciate you watching. appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate everybody who's been subscribing. Um, so thanks. Have a wonderful day. Be careful out there.